Hello, let us try to understand one of the basic component of electronic is resistor. Once you come across resistor, usually people talk about a color code band which is like this. You have certain colors which has numbers and there's a table and that's how one would try to find out the value of that resistor. They are not normally not written in digital form or in number form. But it's a bit difficult for the beginners to understand or to remember the color code and so it's advisable that one can always verify these resistors in a multimeter using a multimeter in resistance mode. So that is the first thing for the beginners to handle. So it is always convenient to follow that practice. Next comes the value of resistors. The value of resistors usually is not the way that we feel like. They are available in certain typical numbers. Like for example, we have 1.2 or maybe 1.2 K and 120 K and 1.2 mega ohm and say 27 ohms, 2.7 K, 270 K, 2.7 mega ohms and so on. These are the standard resistance values. It's not that uh, it's if it is a 3K, you will not get in the market 3.2 K. But that's the commercial value which is available in standard ways of the market. So one must understand that uh, if a resistance of say in calculation if you find say 4K, the 4K resistance is not available, the nearest value is 3.9K or 4.3K. That's the way that one has to use as far as the design is concerned. Next you find the type of resistor. The type of resistors are uh, depending on their uh, size they are maybe same value, it may be same value of resistor, but depending on their size, their wattage vary. So because of the, all the resistances, particularly in electronics, we have all the component, like for example, the resistor or the capacitor, almost all of them have minimum two parameters which are very critical. In resistance here equally, we have two parameters. One is the value as per the color code and also the wattage. Wattage in the sense that how much dissipation that it can handle. I square R is the wattage. So you must understand what is the I square R this resistance going to handle based on which only the wattage of the resistor is decided. We will go into those calculations a little later, but let's try to understand this. Like for example, this is a one fourth watt resistor, this is a half watt resistor, this is a one watt resistor, this is a two watt resistor. This is a maybe a f uh, 4 watt resistor and this is a 5 watt resistor and this could be a 10 watt resistor. The size goes on increasing though the value may be same. So that's the, as far as the size is concerned, we have to understand that. Then there is another category which is called a variable resistor. Variable resistor in short, in commercial terms, people call it preset resistor. Preset resistor meaning it has got three legs and those three legs are equivalent to certain variable list where this point is a variable and these two points are fixed. We will see that when you go to the schematic of this. This is what is that variable resistor. You have these two points fixed points and this is the variable point. This is the resistor. So when it moves, when you rotate this, it moves and this value goes on changing with respect to from here to here, the value will go on changing. That is what is how the variable resistor as we had seen. These are also variable resistors, meaning we have uh, different types, different shape, size. These are also all variable resistors. This is also a variable resistor. Typically in engineering uh, colleges, we call it rheostat, but actually it's a variable resistor. The only difference between those preset and this type is that this is made of wire wound and they are very very high wattage. They are available in maybe 50 watt, 100 watt, 200 watt, 500 watt and so on. The other type of resistor is called a SIP resistor. SIP resistor meaning you have one common point and then you have got number of same value resistors are connected to the common point and they have pins like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 pins whereas 9 resistors and one common point. These are called SIP registers, single in pack, SIP. A typical view of large number of different different pins of that pin, but mind it, all the registers in a SIP are of same value. One pin is common, usually one has to identify the common point by the dot. This is the dot. This point is the dot point. So this is the common point. Then we have also called resistors which are called SMD, surface mount device, meaning they are there is no lead and they are directly soldered from this point and this point and uh, they are in fact written in numbers. 105 meaning 
1050 that is the value of the resistor this is another typical variable resistor where we have this can be standing type this can be horizontal vertical but there is a screw here they are called multi turn variable resistors multi turn in the sense it, uh, it the variation of resistance is very slow once you go on uh, putting a screwdriver and turning it these are certain typical resistors they are usually wire wound when you find the color is green and uh, value in fact is written they are wire wound because wire wound is capable of dissipating more heat and that's how they are made with wire wound type and not that we have the standard this is another typical uh, resistor which is called fusible resistor where there uh, this this is a ceramic body there are different value normally 5 watt 10 watt uh, resistors are of this size the biggest advantage is that this uh, if there is an excess of heat because of more current flowing this will fuse fuse in the sense this will become open circuit that is why they are called fusible resistors these are again certain typical resistors where uh, we have certain aluminum body and then certain mounting arrangement also so the heat which is generated by the resistor is conducted to another metallic body so that it operates in within the specified temperature range these are typical wire wound resistors they also have but then fixed position we have one one point here one point here the third point is variable you can always move it and in the process you will get the third point variable and they are variable resistors as we said before variable resistor meaning there are two fixed terminals one is a variable terminal and this whole black is the resistor it could be a carbon film it could be a wire wound but typically they are of like this or it could be a horizontal type what we had seen this again is a variable resistor which is typically a multi turn type that means you have to operate by the screw driver here this is the variable point and these are the two fixed points so in the process yeah, it goes very slowly like for example uh, number of turns are made rather than only one turn or half a turn these are again wire wound uh, resistors and uh, they are like potentiometer and uh, they are they are not multi turn the wiper will move from here to here in 270 degrees and uh, the the front side and then the back side looks like this this again is the same a variable resistor it could be horizontal type or a vertical type but the adjustment is carried out by a screwdriver they are not multi turn they are single turn these are again summary of uh, certain variable resistors one is called potentiometer and they are typically again one turn this all this is multi turn this is one turn this is a dio start and this again is one turn this again is one turn this is covered this is covered and uh, this is open this is called preset as we had discussed so that brings us to the end of the typical resistors in fact this is not the end of the resistor uh, range there are again several types once you come across in industries you will be able to understand them much better